Everybody seems to be excited about hydrogen. Scientists, politicians, investors, even oil companies. What is this talk all about? And why does it matter? To fight climate catastrophe, we quickly need to get rid of burning fossil fuels. Fortunately, we have the solution at hand. Save energy, use energy efficiently, and fill the remaining needs with inexhaustible renewable energies, mainly wind and solar. They have now become the cheapest source of electricity almost everywhere. But there are some uses of fossil fuels where electricity cannot be applied because it is impossible to attach a cable or use a battery, like in international shipping and aviation. Or because the industrial process requires specific reactions, like in steel making and some chemical industries. For such uses, and only for these, green hydrogen is your thing. Produced with renewable energy, it is a way to store and transport large amounts of clean, renewable energy. Much confusion starts with the fact that hydrogen can be produced in various ways, which are named in different colors. The currently dominant form is grey or black hydrogen, produced by combining fossil gas or coal with steam. Its production releases large amounts of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. Not clean at all. The fossil lobby then argues that the CO2 could be captured and stored in the ground in a process called CCS. They call it blue hydrogen. But there is a catch. If we consider all the releases of methane during the production of fossil gas, blue hydrogen can be as bad for the climate as burning fossil gas directly. So, this is not a solution. It's also possible to produce hydrogen by splitting water with electricity in a process called electrolysis. Here, it depends on the source of the electricity. Pink hydrogen is made from risky nuclear energy, leaving a legacy of highly toxic waste that needs to be safely stored for thousands of years. Green hydrogen is made from renewable power, mainly wind and sun. Sadly, it currently makes up less than 1% of today's hydrogen production. But only green hydrogen can be truly clean and sustainable. So, if we need hydrogen for some uses, it needs to be green hydrogen. But even then, we need to make sure it is not only produced sustainably, but also traded responsibly. Click here and learn more about it.